hey guys good morning and welcome back to my channel for another awesome clean and motivational video so this is so bittersweet we are finally at the end of summer so i am about to take down all my summer decor and i'm so sad because i love summer i am a summer baby was born in the summertime actually my birthday is next week saturday so i am excited to decorate for fall but i'm not excited that i have to take down all my summer decor so i am getting ready to take down everything and i'm gonna start in my bedroom first and work my way all the way to the living room so i don't have a lot of stuff to take down in my bedroom but what I do have, I'm going to take down and just tidy up and straighten up everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. When you do see this video, my birthday would have probably passed at least two, three weeks. <laughs> my birthday is the 29th and you will be seeing this sometime in September. So let's do this, guys. Time to say bye to one season and say hello to another season. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and get a lot of cleaning motivation. If you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Petey Gay and I am the cleaning mommy. I'm a wife and a mom to two adorable little boys. On my channel, I give you cleaning motivation, a day in the life, cooking, lifestyle vlog, anything that involves being a mom, a wife, I do it. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy all my videos. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for coming to my channel and showing me some love. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I really, really appreciate you. <laughs> I know I was looking weird right now and you're probably wondering what I kept looking at but my baby was right here messing with the camera and I kept telling him to leave it alone but you know babies they do what they want so I was making sure I keep kept an eye on him so he didn't drop my camera <laughs> Thank you.
I feel like since I changed up my room, it's so much easier to clean and it doesn't get messy a lot, which I absolutely love. So normally it would take me quite a bit of time to clean my room, but lately it takes me like 10 to 20 minutes. And to some of you, that may be a long time, but for me, that's pretty short, especially because with my baby, he is always in my way. As you can see, he was trying to sweep up the room. He is such a sweet little helper when he wants to be. So my fan is one of those forgotten areas. Whenever I'm cleaning, I rarely remember to clean it, but this day I definitely remember but it was so weird because usually when I don't clean it, it would be so dirty, but it was not, which was a good thing. And a part of the reason why it was probably clean was because I don't use my ceiling fan anyways. I finished cleaning the room and I'm really missing the whole summer vibes that I had going on, but now that it's clean, it's ready to decorate for fall, but you guys will not see that in this video. You guys have to check out my fall series, which is coming September 16th, so make sure you have your notification bell ready for that. I have a bunch of growth products I just unboxed, but I have nowhere to put them, so I have to figure that out. I sometimes forget to have breakfast in the morning before I start cleaning. So as you can see earlier, I started cleaning and I'm just getting ready to eat breakfast now that I'm in the kitchen. But first, I'm going to have me some ginger tea because I wasn't feeling well because yeah, I took too long to eat breakfast. So I'm just gonna warm up my tea, have me some ginger tea to help me feel better. And then I'm also gonna have some grapes with that. And that's gonna be my breakfast. Yes, it's a pretty small breakfast, but I wasn't really in the mood to eat anything big. Cause like I said, I wasn't feeling good. As you can see, my little boy was on the floor. He was having some grapes as well. And he was also playing with some pots and pans. <laughs> My little man enjoying some pizza while he messes with my dish rack and as usual his brother is gonna come and snatch the pizza away from him. <laughs> town to visit my in-laws and my mother-in-law gave me a pork roast. I don't remember if I've ever cooked one before but I wanted a recipe that I've probably never made before and I was planning to do it in my crock pot instead of in my oven. So as you can see I was just going through my Pinterest to see if I could find a recipe that I'll like and see if the recipe that I like if I have all the ingredients at home to make dinner. I'm not really good with planning my meals ahead of time and with a pork roast you have to season that a couple of days before you cook it so that your season can marinate and I didn't do this because I just decided when I went in the kitchen and opened my fridge that this was what I was going to make for dinner so my meat wasn't seasoned days before and I was not happy with that because even though it came out good I felt like it could have been way better had I been able to season up my meat days before. <laughs>
my toddler absolutely loved being in the kitchen with me when I am getting ready to cook. He loves to help. Um, the season he has in his hand was so hilarious because I don't know why I even took that down or how I even took it down because I wasn't looking. But it was cinnamon. And you definitely don't want to put cinnamon on your meat. <laughs> so he was helping me to season up the meat. And he was really excited to help. But this was so funny, guys. Because I asked him to throw the onion powder on the meat. And he was holding the onion powder over the meat. But nothing was coming out. So as you see, I had to try to help him. Before I put the meat in the crock pot, I'm just going to brown both sides in my frying pot first and then I'm seasoning up my pot because you know this is a lot of liquid and you want to make sure your food is well seasoned up. So I'm going to add in my Maggie cubes and all the season that I have. I believe I use paprika, cayenne pepper, browning, barbecue sauce. I'm also going to use some... Um, broth I think it was chicken broth and I also used some orange pepper and I used some steak and pork chop seasoning and I also used my lime juice these seasoning I actually got from Jamaica in a care package that I ordered there's some purpose all-purpose seasoning that I absolutely love to use <music> So as you can see, I'm using my Mrs. Myers, my Grove products. I absolutely love using these products and I cannot wait to start using them for my fall clean and decorate with me. I got the mom scent, I got the acorn scent, and I also got the apple cider. If you guys have never purchased with Grove before and would like to try out their products, I would leave the information in my description box. If you spend $30, you get four free items if you use my code. i leave it in the description box for you. You will absolutely love their products, especially their fall products they smell so good yes I opened them just so I could smell them so I was trying to make space underneath my sink to fit them and now I'm just gonna light some candles so that the house can smell really good while I finish clean up the kitchen <laughs> husband is away at work it makes the cleaning last so much longer so I'm trying to put away all my summer stuff but I really started cleaning around 8 that morning and it pretty much took me the whole day because as you can see right now I had my baby to my hip while I was cleaning so it's very hard trying to clean when my husband is at home especially when I'm doing a deep cleaning like this and imagine how much longer it would take if I was really doing a deep, deep cleaning. But this was mostly just putting away all my summer decor. I was doing laundry, tidying up the kitchen. I tidied up my bedroom, tidied up the living room. And I believe I also did the boys room. But you guys, 
I ended up having to do that the next day. So this video actually took me two days to do because at around five or six, my husband comes home at four, but at five o'clock or six o'clock, we realized dinner was taking too long because even though I put the pork roast in at six, no, lies I tell, I put it at 12, I put it in at 12 p.m., and when my husband came home at four, it still was not ready. So we decided to go out to get something to eat. When I came back, I was too tired to even think about cleaning. So I decided I was not going to do that. So I was going to do that the next day. So now I want to clean out this area right here. So before I do that, I'm going to cut up some onions and some carrots to put in the pot to cook with the meat. So I wanted to clean up that little area that I keep my onions, my banana, my plantains in because I got some onions and they were shedding and they were just making a lot of mess as you will see, and my son was doing such a good job to help. So he is such a big boy now. He is potty trained. So you see, I was fixing his clothes. So now he starts going to the bathroom without me having to tell him to go to the bathroom. And I'm so happy because he's three and I wanted him to be fully potty trained before his fourth birthday, which is coming up in a couple weeks. been cooking a lot lately so it was a total waste of time shedding those onions and putting them in my fridge because I guess they were sitting there for too long because like I said I haven't been cooking a lot so I haven't been using my onions like I usually do so I ended up have to throw them away because they wasn't good but as you can see my toddler wanted to clean and I was trying to take the broom from him, but he said no, he wanted to do it. So I decided to let him do it. He was making a mess every time he tried to put the trash in the bag. It would fall back on the floor. Can you see this boy? I'm trying to take the broom from him and he would not let it go. He wanted to do it himself. And I'm absolutely loving this because I know once he gets older, it's going to be like pulling toot to get him to do chores so I'm enjoying it now as much as I can for as long as I can So guys, I know this video is so much longer than you guys are used to. And if you've watched it this far, I really appreciate it. Let me introduce myself again. If you are new to my channel, my name is Petey Gay. I am a mom and I'm a wife and I do a lot of cleaning motivation cooking inspiration I do vlogging I do DIYs I do anything that is mother wife homemaker related so you will see a lot of that on my channel I am trying to do a lot more cooking videos so you will definitely see a lot more of that I really do hope you guys are enjoying this video and if you're new to my channel Thank you. I really appreciate you. And I hope you are enjoying my content. And if there's anything you would like to see, if there's anything you feel like I could improve on, don't be afraid to let me know because I love talking to you guys and I love getting your opinions. And if you are returning, the same goes to you as well. Thank you so much for coming to my channel again and watching over and over. I really appreciate it. I do this for you guys and I am really, really thankful that you guys take time out of your day to show me love and support.
as you can see, my living room was a little bit messy because my sons used my living room as their player area, even though they have their bedroom for that. They still use my living room as where they store all their toys. <laughs> everywhere except for the curtains i'm gonna leave those up until it's time to decorate because i don't want nobody looking inside my house and at first i thought if you stand outside you wouldn't be able to see inside but then i did it one day and i realized without the curtain i could actually see inside and to make it even worse in the middle blinds, the middle window, the blinds, my sons ripped that down so you can definitely see.
for. So I'm very happy that I got the opportunity to do this for you guys. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the shopping. I enjoyed the decorating. I was a bit sad about taking everything down. But I was looking forward to decorating for fall and I definitely cannot wait for you guys to see that. So I just wanted to say, because this might be the last time I talk to you guys on this video. So I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching and showing your love and support to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Welcome. Thank you. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. And I really appreciate your guys' support. You don't know how much it means to me that you come to my video every week to show your love and support. If you don't already know, I post every Sunday Wednesday and Friday at 12. If you don't see me post on that day, it's more than likely because I am doing a collaboration. If you don't see me post at my usual time, it's because I'm doing a collaboration. But again, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video if I don't say anything else. But if I do say anything else, still, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Actually, the bouquet that I use at my wedding, I'm so glad I did not use real flowers because I still have it after all these years. Hey guys and I'm finally finished cooking this pot roast I ended up turning it off around 7 and when I did turn it off it still wasn't cooked the potatoes wasn't cooked so I had to finish it today so now it's finally finished and what should have been yesterday's dinner is now today's dinner <laughs> 